welcome back to my channel so in today's video we will cover two three sigma tropic rearrangement reaction right so first we will take the basic reaction that how the transition state take place and which type of transition state will take form in this reaction so we have this allylic system and it is attached with this xy system right so this x can be oxygen or is it can be sulfur or nitrogen right and when it is oxygen it is called as 2 3 Wittig rearrangement and when it is sulfur or nitrogen it is called Stevens rearrangement right so how this reaction take place first we will number it 1 2 3 and this is also 1 and 2 right so what type of transition take place that this Y has lone pair of electron or it can be negatively charged it will attack on this carbon this bond will shift here and this last arrow will end on X it will not end on this bond similar to other uh, sigma tropic rearrangement it will not end on this bond it will end on this X right so it will involve formation of five member transition state because these are five member system so it will involve five member transition state five member means it will form envelope like a structure so these two bond will remain as such this pi bond is going to break so we will denote it by a dashed line right and this bond will also break so we will denote it by dashed lines this bond is forming we will denote it by also dashed line and this is your x and this is y these r dash and r prefers to go in exo direction to get this structure more stable so in final product what we will get here right we will have lone pair of electron on x or we can have negative charge right we will see many example then it will be more clear for example in this case first this allyl alcohol will be treated with this halide right so what will happen this oxygen having lone pair of electron will attack on this carbon br will be removed and we have structure like this then we are using this base nah so it will remove this proton and we will get this one next we are using this butyl lithium so with this butyl lithium will remove acidic proton so we have a proton attached here which is quite acidic in nature because it is close to this oxygen so it will be removed and when we will remove one proton from this position we will have negative charge here so carbon ion will be formed now we can number it this is our allylic system 1 2 3 and this attached with this allylic carbon will also give in number 1 and 2 then this bond will shift here this will shift here and it will end on oxygen this will be the product next this it will take this proton and it will form OH uh, here we have one very important point is there is more preferentially formation of E alkene E alkene is preferentially in most of the cases we will get E alkene here next is we will take one more example here so I have taken this example to explain you that how this E alkene is forming why we are not getting Z alkene in major amount why we are getting E alkene preferentially so in this case first we are using a organolithium compound or we can use LDA or any other strong base which can remove this proton so what we will get here we will get this carbon ion now we will number all these carbon so it will be more easier to us to understand it this is number 1 2 3 4 and 5 right I am not writing according to sigma tropic transition I am just writing the number of carbons involved in this reaction so what will be the movement of electrons this carbon ion will attack here this will shift here and it will shift here right now we will try to draw its transition so in this reaction this bond these two bonds which is connect which is connecting carbon 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 will remain intact they are not going to change only this pi bond is shifting so we will denote it by dashed lines this bond will break this bond will remain as such which is connecting this carbon and this oxygen 
and this is this bond is newly formed bond between carbon 1 and carbon 5 this one so this is our transition state now we will again number it so why i am doing all this because we are going to draw it in envelope form right so it will be more easier us more easier for us to understand it this is your carbon number 1 3 this is 5 which is here right and the fourth carbon is the fourth atom is this oxygen at carbon 3 we have this r dash so first suppose we are drawing this r dash in exo direction away from this cavity side and here we have proton on carbon fifth we have a alkyl group which is r like this right now we will do this final reaction and after shifting of bonds what we will get here we will get a new double bond at this position between carbon 2 and 3 so this is our final product now there is new bond formation between carbon 2 and 3 so this is 2 this is 3 this one is 1 and this r dash is in exo direction therefore this bond is e to this one right this is e alkene when we are drawing this r dash in transition state in exo direction to provide it more stability it will automatically will go in e alkene form right and we know that the transition state should be of lower energy that's why we are getting this e alkene as major product and here we have this one suppose we are drawing this r dash in exo direction in endo direction this is endo direction this one it is going downwards so after formation of bond here we have h also so h will go here r dash will come in this position right so we will get z alkene here but we know that this transition state is less stable because alkyl group is placed in endo direction that is why we will get e alkene as major product so what is the outcome of all this uh, thing is that you have to remember that here you will get e alkene preferentially so remember this point this is very very important next thing is diastereo selectivity in 2 3 sigma tropic rearrangement this point will also help you in solving many problems so again we have this type of system it is also example of 2 3 vitic rearrangement so we have a base here so this base will first remove proton from this position and it will form carbonyl so first we will get this type of carbonyl now we will number it according to sigma tropic shift so it is the example of 2 3 sigma tropic shift this negative charge will first attack on this carbon this bond will shift here and this will shift here so first we will try to find out that what is our final product we will get this type of product and we will preferentially get here e alkene this is the outcome of our first study that is that we will get preferentially e alkene we have discussed here that we will get e alkene as major product right so this point is clear but the question comes that what will be the attachment side of this ne and this oh whether they will be same to each other or they will be anti to each other so i will give you directly a rule that will help you to determine the final product in examination so when this carbonyl when this carbonyl is stabilized by alkyl alkenyl or aryl substituents then z alkene will give you syn product as major and e alkene will give you anti product as major what is the meaning of it means this carbonyl is when stabilized by any such type of group whether we have alkyl here alkenyl group attached here aryl group attached here then your z alkene this one is z alkene it will give you syn as major product if i have this amyl group attached like this means in anti direction in e uh, in this direction that it will give you e alkene then anti will be major product so in this case because you have a z alkene here and this carbonyl is stabilized by methyl or this alkenyl group that is why we will get syn as major product means these two will go on the 
same side in final product you will get also some amount of product in which these are anti to each other but this one is measured then what about if you have this carbon ion is stabilized by carbonyl group or you have ox azoline ring then your e alkene will give syn as major product and z alkene will give nt as major product means it is just reverse of this one only try to remember this point then you can do reverse of it when you have carbonyl is stabilized by any of these two for example in this case if you are generating a carbonyl means you are removing a proton from this position now it will become your 2 3 sigma tropic shift system like this this carbonyl will attack here this bond will shift here and this will shift here right so in this case this carbonyl is stabilized by ox azoline ring and this alkene is e alkene right so the major product will be syn product syn will be major in amount next we will take two three sigma tropic rearrangement of ammonium or sulfonium halides we have already discussed it that it is called as stevens rearrangement right we have suppose this type of system and in the starting suppose i am using a allyl bromide here so what will happen this nitrogen having lone pair of electron will attack here this bond will shift here and br will be removed so what you will get here we will get this type of system right next we are using a base so this base will remove a acidic proton so this proton attached here is quite acidic in nature because it is close to this nitrogen as well as it is close to this sulfur atom right so it is quite acidic in nature and here we also have a carbonyl group so we can easily remove it now this one is is your 2 3 sigma tropic system right so this will attack here this will shift here and it will shift here or nitrogen last last arrow will end on a atom we have nme2 here in as in the starting and now this allyl group will attach by below the plane site this will be the final product so these all reactions are very very simple and quite important also then we will take next example which is based on sulfonium halide so again the same type of reaction will happen the sulfur having lone pair of electron will attack on this carbon this br will be removed right we have this one as product then in next step because we are using this butyl lithium so a proton from this position will be removed we will have negative charge here and positive charge here and this is our 2 3 sigma tropic shift it will attack here this bond will shift here and this bond will shift on sulfur so what we will get this will be the final product next reaction is very very important when we will use carbenes to form the systems which can participate in 2 3 sigma tropic shift so this is the example of simon smith reaction and simon smith reaction is used to generate carbene on double bonds but here we have this sulfur system so it will participate preferentially and it it will attack on this carbene generated here because it is electron rich having lone pair of electron and it will attack on this carbene which is electron deficient in nature so what we will get here we will get this type of system in the starting then we have this 2 3 sigma tropic shift this carbonyl will attack on this three number carbon this one will shift here and this will shift here the attachment side of this group will be remain as such uh, in the starting it was uh, it was attached below the plane side it will remain as such in the product also so this group will attach from the side below the plane because axial attack is preferential in case of cyclohexene so we will get this type of product final product in place of this uh, simon smith re re reagents we can also have systems with we can also have rhodium as a catalyst here in presence of alpha diazo carbonyl compounds or we can have copper 
salts as a catalyst right so in this case suppose i am using rhodium as a catalyst this question is also from net examination it is very very common type of example so this rhodium catalyst will remove this nitrogen and we will generate a carbene here right we will get this type of system now this oxygen is electron rich so it will attack on this carbon we will get negative charge here and positive charge here now it can participate in 2 3 sigma tropic shift and we will get trans as major product trans will be the major product in this case so that's it all about this chapter 2 3 sigma tropic shift and i think i have covered all the important reactions of pericyclic reactions thank you so much for watching and if you like my videos please share my videos with your friends and all the best for your exams